Hey basketball coaches and players, today I am going to talk about what is a Horns basketball offense. So let's get down to the clipboard and let's check this out. So a tall tale sign of a team running a Horns offense is if they've got both of their post players or their biggest players in the high post. We have their point guard up top with a guard and a forward or possibly two guards or two forwards down in the low corners. Now from my experience, a Horns offense works extremely well against a 2-3 zone as well as against a man-to-man -man defense. Now some easy plays that you can run out of a Horns offense are simple screen and roll plays that we see at the NBA level. So one of these plays is when player 5 goes up and screens for player 1 and at the same time screens down for player 3's man. Obviously this is against a man-to-man -man defense. And what we're going to have here is now a possibility of player 3 being open. Player 5 rolling towards the basket, possibly being open. Player 1 possibly shooting the 3 point shot. But also there's so many different layers of this play even though it's a super simple play so for one if player two's defender drops down to play help defense on player five so that he doesn't have a clear path to the basket player one could pass to player two for a three-point shot now another option or a thing that may happen is if player five gets that ball and player four comes over to play help defense Player 4 could roll off of this screen towards the basket and this could be an easy pass over to player 4. Now there's always that chance of player 3 staying with player 4, player 4 staying with player 4 and playing help on player 5 leaving player 3 wide open as well for the 3 point shot. So even though this was just a simple screen and roll and screen away play, it's opened up all of these different opportunities and that is what the horns offense does for you now that is what the horns offense does for you there are obviously very advanced plays that you could run out of the horns offense but in generalities i'm going to say that you just really want to run simple screen and roll plays out of the horns offense at the younger youth level until you get to the late high school age, you're probably not going to be running many advanced plays out of the horns. And believe me, simple plays like what I just ran there can be super effective if you teach your team how to move without the ball and also how to look for the open man. Now, even though there are a few coaches who say you should never really run plays, I disagree a great way to really teach your team how to run a basketball team, how to move without the ball, how to look for the open man, can be taught while we're teaching basketball plays. So even though we're teaching plays at, the pra at practice, some coaches will run a two hour practice and have an hour and a half for drills and then 30 minutes for plays. A lot of coaches are not teaching while they're teaching plays. They're just saying, hey, I want you to move here, there, that, and this. What I do when I'm coaching a team is while they're teaching, while I'm teaching the plays, I'm also explaining to them, hey, if you're in this position and you have a defender who sneaks down, I want you to pop up or whatever the situation may be. It doesn't have to be that. But I always like to work on my off-ball players because at that point in time, now they're not just learning how to run a play, but they're also learning skills on how to move off-ball. What happens when a defender does, uh, when, what happens if a defender looks away or if he's playing too deep or he's playing too much in the, on the help side? You can teach players how to run off-ball. Anyways, that's my thoughts, and this is the Horns basketball offense. It's a simple offense, mostly used for screen and roll actions like I just showed you. Anyways, I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe. Go check out my unbeatable and perimeter basketball defense books down in the description below, and I'll see you guys again next time.